Welcome back. Jacinta Quarter here, AGM member and retail merchandise sales manager for the Danielle Island Club. I am so excited for today's video. It's gonna be a little different kind of a video for me. It is going to be prop making 101. I felt like this was a great jumping off point for everyone. It's a very straightforward kind of project. It's very entry level, but it unlocks a lot of potential for other different kinds of customization throughout your golf shop. To make the base of your sign, you can use acrylic, tempera paint, really any water-based paint. When choosing your paints, just make sure you're avoiding oil paints. They're very messy, they're very expensive, and they take forever to dry. So definitely not what I would recommend for just kind of a starter project if you're just getting into prop making. You can use the paint straight out of the bottle, but if you'd like to make some custom colors, if you have very specific colors to your club, that's totally fine. I just would recommend making sure that you mix enough to completely saturate the sign and make that color really solid. Next, we're gonna put the image that we wanna transfer onto our sign. There's a few different ways that you can transfer your image, but what I'll be showing you today is the window light box method. What we're gonna do is print our image out, tape the image backwards to a window, and go over all of the lines in pencil on the back. You can use any pencil to trace these lines. For this tutorial, I just use a scorecard pencil, and that works great. During the stage, you just wanna make sure that the lines for your logo are really precise on the back of that image. When you're done, peel it away from the window, put the image on your sign in the placement that you're looking for and tape it down. Make sure you tape it down lightly so that it's not gonna mess up the base when you peel it off. Next, we're gonna transfer the lines from our traced image onto the sign. The most important thing to keep in mind here is to make sure your pressure with the pencil is firm, but not too hard that you're gonna make dents in your sign. I recommend taking it easy at first, and if you need to check to make sure your pressure is transferring your lines, you can gently just peel off one end and check to see if the image is transferring. You don't even have to go over the lines on the front in great detail. Just make sure you're getting the general gist of the shapes. Everything at this point should be pretty crisp on the back when you did your window box tracing. When you're finished with that step, peel the image up and be sure to clean up any sort of unclear lines with a pencil before you go in with your acrylic pens. For this project, I used these acrylic paint pens, which I got on Amazon Prime. I felt like they were a really great tool for making very fine detailed line work. They were super user friendly and very inexpensive. Great for a first time project. And we're gonna go over our lines in the acrylic pens. You might need to do two layers, don't be afraid of that. Just make sure you're keeping a very steady hand to keep your line work clean. Let your lettering fully dry before you seal the whole sign with some clear gloss. Sealing your signs is really important just to make sure that the paint, especially if it's a dark color, is just really in there. The gloss I used again, you can just find on Amazon. After you seal your sign, be sure to let it dry overnight. Next, we're gonna fasten a back to our sign. I'll usually just make a short little back with twine and thumbtacks. I feel it looks great, it's very inexpensive, and it's super easy. Cut the twine to the desired length, put your neutral colored thumbtacks down, and you are good to go. And that is Prop Creation 101, custom sign making. I hope that wasn't too complicated for you. I love making signs like this. It just is such a great opportunity to add special little touches to your golf shop that are completely unique to you and what you do at your club. Give it a try and be sure to share your photos of your custom props with the AGM. I can't wait to see what everyone makes. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.